Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When the love of Jesus consumes your heart, your Christianity becomes so easy. I don't... When, when the revelation of Jesus comes to you, you will not need somebody... You will not, you will not be serving God because you want something from Him. You will be serving Him because you... You know he has gotten, he has done a lot already for you. Praise God. It's a privilege to serve him. It's a privilege to know him. It's a privilege to be with him. <clears throat> Verse 9. Philippians chapter 2. He says, Wherefore, like, you can say, therefore, Hallelujah. Or as a result. <laughs> so, if I say therefore, it means something must have happened before I say therefore. Right? I can't just come and say therefore, come. <laughs> you know it doesn't make sense, right? Yes. So, since you are not going to carry water, therefore, come. At least that, that makes sense. Alright? Yes, it may not be perfect English, but at least it's a consequence of something. When I say therefore, it means that it's a consequence, it's a result of a conclusion. Hallelujah. Are you following me? So he said, wherefore or therefore, God had highly exalted him and given him a name that is above. Are you looking at your Bible? I'm reading. I'm reading. He said, wherefore God also had highly, say highly, highly. say God also highly exalted him. There are two things I want you to, to see, or two or more. I want you to see the word therefore. I want you to see the word also. I want you to take note of the word ha, past tense, praise God. I want you to see the, the word highly exalted. In fact, everything in that sentence makes sense. Praise God. He said, wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name. He exalted him and then gave him a name. He exalted him and gave him a name. Like some people, they go to the village to take cheap tents. Are you following me? Yes, sir. They were ordinary people, some were truck pushers in the village. They left the village, went to town, did business, they became rich. They now went to the village and said, I want to take red car. You understand? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And then what happens is that the Igwe now, the chief or the, the, the main chief, who now uh, call for the council of the elders. Council of the elders. Take note. Hallelujah. He cannot do it alone. He will call for the council of the elders. He will, they will do some ceremony. Huh? Yes, but first, they must check that man's record. Are you following me? He must be an elite. That means he must be contributing to the village, to the growth of the village, to the development of the village. They must check his, if he is qualified to receive that chieftaincy. Now, that is for genuine ones, right? The ones that they are not fraud. <laughs> When, he is, when they have checked all that, they will now do a coronation. And they will now give him a name. Right? That name is not what exalts him. That name is to indicate that he has been exalted. Hallelujah. They may now call him Chuku Muku Ebukao Ten. It doesn't matter. But whatever name they are given to him is to show that he has been crowned. Are you following me? Praise God. Hallelujah. Which public one can I can I use? Some of us are not familiar with our villages. All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When we say this man now is the president of Cameroon. Is it because you call him president that makes him president? It's not because you call him president. Is because he has been elected, right? He has been elected and then inaugurated 
as the president. So you call him president because of he has qualified to take it and he has taken it. Are you following me? Yes, sir. Okay. So I want you to, I'm giving that background so that you understand what I'm, I'm sharing here. He said, wherefore God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above, say above. Above. Above every name. How many names? Every name. Do you know any name that is above many names here? Do you know any name? The name of the governor is above every name in Southwest region. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. The name of the governor, when you call that name in any office in Southwest region, you, you must respond. It doesn't matter the office. So long as you're in Southwest region, the name of the governor of the Southwest region, that office must respond to. The name of the president of Cameroon is superior above Every name in Cameroon. Am I right? Yes. Are you following me? Yes. Now, no matter the name that you know in this world, huh? the Bible is telling us now that Jesus, the name of Jesus has been exalted above all of those names. Praise God. Yes. Above the, all the presidents of the world, above the name of the Vatican chief, Above the name of Secretary General of UN, Hallelujah. Above the name of the President of America, are you following me? The name is above every name. You, do you do you not see who you are serving? Huh? This is the person you're serving whose name has been exalted above every other name. It means if you want to talk, that is the, the reason why we call him the king of kings. Huh? Yes, sir. The lord of lords. Because there is no lord on earth. There is no master on earth. So the day you are saying, Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you. Maybe if you have not done that, this will be an opportunity for you because he is lord. Whether you acknowledge it or not, those that not acknowledge him as their Lord, he is still Lord over them. But he, they will not be saved because they are not acknowledge him as Lord. They are considered as what? As rebels. Hallelujah. He's Lord. Yes, he is Lord over every government, over every situation, over every school, over every career, over every activity, living and non-living, he is Lord over them. Hallelujah. That is the reason now he now says, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Now, he says should bow, all right? It's a law that every knee should bow. But does every knee bow? No, but one day they will bow. Are you following me? One day they will bow. When, God's word, when God speaks his word, it must come to pass. Praise God. We, may, we see it in different cases. We may see it in headaches. Headaches may bow, stomach bites may bow, backache may bow, leg pains may bow, sometimes ear problems may bow. Are, are you following me? Sometimes situations in life may bow. Praise God. Sometimes we have presidents that are Christians that submitted themselves to Jesus. So they have bowed, but many are not bowed. And it's in scriptures why they are not bowed. And he's telling us one day they will bow. Praise God. Amen. Yes. So we are not serving... Uh, a quarter chief. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Which is as good. You know, just imagine you're, you're serving the president of Cameroon. Huh? You are a servant. You are, you are rank high class, not so. Are you following me? Yes, like those who work in the presidency. Huh? Yes, they are rank high class, not so. Yes, but you are not serving the president of, of the nation. You are serving the one whose name has been exalted above all names. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you see why you, you, can, you should not be timid with your Christianity. Huh? You should not be timid with it. Nobody should intimidate you with your Christianity. The person you are serving. I was praying one prayer today. I said, Lord, give me a bigger mouth to preach this gospel. Hallelujah. Give me a bigger mouth to proclaim my, my salvation. To proclaim the Lordship of Jesus over me. It means that I should talk more than I'm talking about it. I should act more than I'm acting. I should live more than I'm living. Praise God. I, is there anybody you are ashamed of your Christianity? You should, you, you should take this. You are not serving a quarter chief. You are not serving the, a governor. Hallelujah. 
You are serving who? The king of kings. Say, I'm serving the king of kings. I'm serving the Lord of lords. The Bible calls him the author and the finisher. The beginning and the end. Hallelujah. My God. Everybody on earth has beginning. Huh? But he does not have a beginning. He is the beginning. And he is the end. If you want to begin, you begin with him. If you don't begin... <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we here? Are you still here? There is a name. There is a name that is higher than all names. There is a name. Your name may not be able to get you the job. There is a name that can get the job. Are you following me? Your name may not be able to get the contract. There is a name that can get you the contract. I always tell Christians that we are universally connected. Hallelujah. We, have, we, are, we don't just have Godfather, we have God. Are you understanding me? I say we don't just have... Who do we have? <laughs> he can talk to anybody. Praise the Lord. Remember what he did? He had to, he had to manipulate the, the, the presidency of Egypt just to release Joseph from prison. <laughs> Praise God. He had to go and show a dream to Pharaoh so that he can interpret it and he be released and become the second in command. Praise God. Now, it may not be your experience, but in little things that you do, you must experience and acknowledge his lordship over it. Hallelujah. So why then do we call the name Jesus and most times he's looking as if he's not working? Do you have confidence in the name? Do you have confidence in the name? Or let me say, how much confidence do you have in the name? Do you believe that now that you have submitted to Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are saved first? Do you believe that? Yes. Are you confident in that? Yes. Or you still sit and doubt your salvation? Hallelujah. If you are doubting your salvation, it is not to give your life to Christ many times. It is to develop confidence in that name. Hallelujah. The one whom you have believed has saved you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But if you don't know him, you would doubt. It's like, I always give this illustration. If I tell you to, like, somebody that, that doesn't know the name of the governor of Southwest region, he tells you that go to my 17, meet the, the park uh, master there, and tell him that I need him to come now. If you don't know that he's the governor that is talking, You'll be asking yourself, who, who are you to tell me to go and tell that man? Are you following me? <laughs> You'll be doubting, not so. But if you suddenly realize the governor that is speaking, what will you do? You will take full speed. You, you are, at that time you're talking, you are no longer, you are not begging the man. Are you following me? Because you are not talking based on your name. You are not talking based on yourself. You are talking based on who has sent you. Hallelujah. And Jesus has given us the power to use his name. He has given us, it's called the power of atony. That is, you are given the right to use his name anywhere at any time. That is why he now say, at the name Jesus. Meaning anyone who has bear the mark of that name, who has borne the mark of that name, can use that name anywhere. And things should bow to the person. But they only bow if you understand who you are using the name. Hallelujah. Who is he? Who is this Jesus? If we want to talk about Jesus, we can take the whole year. So today I'm just giving an introduction to us. Because see, when you understand the name, hallelujah, you may have spoken about the name in one way, you may have called the name over a situation. And it looks as if the situation has not changed. Don't worry. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Continue to develop confidence in that name. The next time you will call, you will bow. Hallelujah. When I just started my Christian work and developing my faith, there were times I would pray for head there for, for one week and the head there would still be standing and looking. <laughs> but it came to a point, just by one word, the, the head there will fly away. Praise God. The, it, that I have developed confidence with him to an extent and I'm still developing confidence in him. Glory to God. Amen. At that time, I can when I look at the demon, somebody that is demon possessed, I'll, I'll just abandon the person. I can't do anything. But now I have developed confidence in who I know him. I know how much he, how, how he defeated the, the devil. Hallelujah. I have developed confidence 
in him because by, by studying and knowing him, the Bible says he disarmed all principalities and powers. Hallelujah. And made a public spectacle of them. It means that it means he defeated Satan and took away every weapon they were using to oppress man. So when the devil is oppressing any human being now, it is an illegal act. And then I can go to him legally and ask him to leave that person alone. Hallelujah. Because I have understood what Jesus has done, who he is, and the defeat that he has given over the power of the enemy. Glory to God. So there are things we need to understand about him. That is why I love him so much. Because of how much he has done. Who he is. And the things that the God has given into his hand. Can we go to Hebrews chapter 1? Wow. Say, I love Jesus. I love you need to keep that alive in you. Hebrews chapter 1. Okay, we start reading from verse 1. He said, God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet. It means in the time past he spoke to the fathers by the prophet. Hallelujah. He, he spoke to them by the prophet. He gave them directives. That is the reason why if you depend on prophetic direction in this time, you are missing a lot. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm saying you're missing a lot. Hallelujah. Praise God. So if you only depend on prophecies, waiting for somebody to prophesy to you, only, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but prophecy is very important. Are, are you following me? For direction. But if you depend on it, because as a spiritual babe, hallelujah, some of us here have experienced prophetic, pro prophecy direction, right? Prophetic directions, right? Yeah, there were some of us, we are about to take some steps and then God came through prophecy and said, don't take this step. And uh, we subdue. And we submitted. And we found out that it was true. Hallelujah. Now, but if you if you remain at that position, you will remain a babe. Hallelujah. You will remain spiritually immature. You will not be able to grow. If you want to grow, you must you must be current with God. Hallelujah. What is the current state with God? The Bible says, in time past, he spoke unto our fathers. That was our fathers in the faith. He spoke to them through the prophets. But he says, in these last days, hallelujah. Say, in these last days. In these last days. He, has, he said, in these last days, he has spoken unto us by his son. Hallelujah. So his son now is the one whom he speaks through. That is why Jesus came. He said, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. He said, I did not come to do my own will, but to take from my Father and give it to you. Hallelujah. Because it is through him. It is with him. It is by him. That is why the apostle said, in him we live. In him we move. And in him we have our being. Hallelujah. Because it is through him that we receive the word of God. It is through Jesus that we receive the updates from heaven. Are you following me? He is the only one who came and said, Thy kingdom come. He's the one who brought the kingdom of God from heaven down to earth. He's the only one. Praise God. Hallelujah. John the Baptist came and said, Repent, for the kingdom of God is coming. All the other prophets, they came and said, Repent, for the kingdom of God is coming. The only person who came and said, It has come is Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the kingdom of God has come to us. And it was brought to us by Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why it is possible for us to pray and God hears us. It is only because Jesus came. Glory to God. Without him, we cannot have salvation. Without him, we cannot talk to God. Without him, there's no way we will be able to be righteous. There's no way we can we can even stand before God. We are able to stand before God with boldness, without guilt, without any sense of condemnation because of what Jesus has done. Yeah. Hallelujah. He is that he's like he, he dug the, 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 the third road to heaven. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. He's the one who paved the way. He is a way maker. When we say way maker, it's not just the one that is making way so that we have bread and wine. Are you following me? It's not just the one that makes way so that we can have, you know, we can have job, we can have good mass. No. Yes, he is good in that, but that is, that is small. That's bonus. Are you following me? Yeah. That is what? Bonus. The way maker that he is, is that he, he made a way from earth to heaven so that we can move directly to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Can I tell you something? When you go to pray, can you, can you hear me? Are you following? Yes, when you go to pray, the Bible told, told us in, in Matthew chapter 6. He said, when you want to pray, he said, go to your closet. He said, lock the door, shut the door behind you and pray to your father. He is the only one who called God our father. Oh 
God. Are you following me? Because he had come to show us how to be in connection with God. How to be in fellowship with God. That is why in, he in Hebrews chapter 1. Yes, Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 9. He says God is faithful. I don't know. If, is it Hebrews chapter 1? No. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9. He says that God is faithful. By whom ye were called unto the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We were called to fellowship with him. Because the fellowship we have with him is the fellowship with the Father. Why? He is the way, the truth, and the life of oh God. That's what John said. John said that the fellowship we have with him is actually the fellowship we are having with the Father. So he said, if you go in your closet and you're praying, he said, you are praying. He said, you are talking to your father in the secret. Your father in the secret. And your father who is in the secret, he says he will see you. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will reward you openly. He is telling us now that it is possible for us to go into our closet and talk with God one-on-one. -on -one. Without Jesus, it wouldn't be possible. You need a channel of a prophet. Yeah. But now you don't need a prophet. Maybe you're sick in your body. You can go to God and begin to pray. Are you following me? You have any trouble, you can go to God and you begin to talk to him. Because Jesus has made it possible. Hallelujah. Yeah. Without Jesus, that would be that won't be possible. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you see here? Yes, Say, I love, Jesus. I love Jesus. He is the way. He is my way. He is my truth. He is my life. Hallelujah. Say, therefore, I cannot be defeated. I know the way to the Father. I know the way to the Father. I know the truth about the Father. I cannot be deceived. I cannot be put in confusion. Because I know the way. I know the truth. I know the life. Therefore, nobody can talk death over me. You know when, when somebody plays curses or whatever it is, it is death they are, they are placing on, on, on somebody. Are you following me? All those things are dead. But you have no life. Glory to God. You have no life. Hallelujah. Life is now... You are in fellowship with life. I don't know if you understand me. Do you know what it means, fellowship? It means friendship. It means intimacy. Are you understanding? Oh, God. Oh, that is why this fellowship is called koinonia. We are coming here together to fellowship because they say, where two or three are gathered in my name. They are mine in the midst of them. Are you following me? So as we are here now, Jesus is here. Don't just come to see a person. When you come here, come to fellowship with Jesus. When you come, open your mind up for him. Open your heart up for him. Give your all to him. Let your eyes be on him. For he says, looking up to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. You look on to Jesus. You look on to him. And then suddenly, he says, they looked upon him and their faces were radiant. It means when you see him, when you look at him, you will be transformed. You don't know what is happening on the inside. When you see, because the more you see him, he said, the more you look, you are being metamorphosed. Amen. You are being transformed into the very thing you are looking at. Are you following me? Yeah. So when you look at Jesus, when we talk of looking at Jesus, not with your physical eyes, it's with the eyes of your spirit. That's the eyes of your heart. Are you following because your heart can see, your heart can hear, your heart has the senses of the spirit deposited in it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you can use it to relate with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, say, say, I'm set on the course that I must follow. I'm set on the course that I must follow. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm in fellowship with him. I'm in fellowship with him. Every day. Every day. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. Hallelujah. Praise oh, why sharing about Jesus the other day in the crusade draft? And a man who was drunk at it. He was, he was a drunkard and a drunk at it. He, he, he came forward and flung his arms in the air and said, and he was shouting, Jesus, Jesus, I need you in my life. Jesus, I need you in my life. And suddenly, something just happened. I can't explain it. But I know that if a man connects to him with his heart, he will receive him. Yes, Hallelujah. He suddenly flung his hands and said, Jesus, Jesus. Suddenly, I saw tears coming from his eyes. And he began shouting, Jesus has entered my heart. He said, Jesus has entered my heart. I began weeping. I, because I, I know it. His face that came with those drunkenness with all those things his face became shining like a light hallelujah at the same time there's some, someone who was connected who was just around also he started 
responding the same way. And suddenly he said, I know Jesus has entered my heart. He said, Jesus has entered my heart. And he was having chronic stomach pain for more than three years. And the pain disappeared. Nobody prayed for him. But he connected his faith to Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. This is Jesus we are talking about. We are not, we, we don't just gather like a jagging meeting. Are you following me? Yeah. This is not a club. We are not gathering here like a club or a businessman meeting. It is a fellowship with heaven. It is a fellowship with the creator. It is a fellowship with the savior. Are you following me? It is a fellowship with the Lord of Lords, with the King of Kings. He is bigger than any other thing you can think. Did we read it? He says that, and God had highly, highly, highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. Above every name. Above every name. Above every name is above cancer. Are you hearing me? Yes. That name is above hardship. That name is above poverty. He said he has given a name that is above sin. Praise God. It means you can dominate sin. Yes, you can dominate sin. With that name, as you fellowship, because as you're fellowshipping with him, do you know Jesus God is holy? Yes, as you fellowship with him, you are fellowshipping with holiness. And then he's pulling you away from worldliness, pulling you closer to righteousness, pulling you away from hatred, pulling you closer to love, pulling you away from anger, pushing you closer to peace. Hallelujah. The more you fellowship with him, the more you become who he is. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Say, I love, Jesus. I love Jesus. Can you know about Jesus like this and you ever hate him? No. People that hate Jesus, they don't know him. I tell people who say, I hate Jesus, I say, because you don't know him. Then, then you will see him. You will cry and say, Lord, I love you with all my heart. Mm. Hallelujah. The Lord. Yes. Jesus is the king of kings. Yet he's our friend. And he has given us the opportunity to sit with him on the table. What did he say? He said, I stand on the door. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. He said, I stand at the door of your heart and I am knocking. He was not even talking to believers. He was talking to unbelievers. He said, I stand at your door and I'm knocking. He does not mind that you're dirty. He does not mind that you're sick. He does not mind that you're you are a sinner. He does not mind that you're this. But he says, I come to knock. If you will open the door, he said, I will come and dine with you. Hallelujah. What kind of a king is that? When they are passing, when all the local kings are around, when they are passing, they are passing on convoy. We are standing and waiting at them. But the king of kings, he does not come with comfort. He yes. always come to dine with you on the same table. Yes. Hallelujah. That is Jesus. The Bible says he went to the house of one man. And the, the Pharisees, you know, those kind of people whom they, when they are leaders, they want to carry themselves so high that the poor cannot reach to them. Those that are down, they are the ones who who would differentiate the society into first class, second class, and third class? You know, the first class don't mingle with the third class. Yes, that's how the Pharisees were. That's how the leaders at that time were. And they were now. He was fellowshipping with this sinner. That's uh, uh, Zacchaeus. He was fellowshipping with him. They knew him as tax collector, I mean bread collectors. That is the best way to describe them in our today. Bread collectors. They, they collected money from sources they never sold. Hallelujah. And the Pharisees looked at him and said, who is this man? If he is truly the son of God, if he is truly a righteous man, how come he is dining with sinners? Doesn't he know that this man is a sinner? And he responded there because he understood their thought. Hallelujah. He perceived their thought and he thought he spoke. He said, the one that is, that is not sick does not need a doctor. But it is them that are sick that need a physician. He said, I did not come for the righteous, but I came for sinners so that they might be saved. Hallelujah. So he does not come. You know, when, when people are big, they only make friends with big people. But Jesus is not like that. Hallelujah. He is big, but yet simple. He comes to make friends with you and I. Amen. Amen. That is why we, we, we sing that song called Amazing Grace. How many of us know that song? Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that said a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Amazing grace, how sweet 
song makes sense to you? Yes. Like I said, we are not serving a quarter chief. Hallelujah. This is one thing you should carry home. You are not serving a God who is not touched by the infirmities, by the feelings of our infirmities. He is touched. He, he is big, yet he comes so low to pick us from the ground and bring us up. That is why Hannah, she, she, she composed a song in First Samuel chapter 2. He says he is the one who pick the poor from the dungeon and set them among princes. Hallelujah. Yes, he picked them from the dust and set them among princes. Princes are the rich people in the society. There was a time that Jesus gave a parable that there was a king who had a, 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 a party, a wedding party, and he invited his rich friends. And on that day, his rich friends were giving excuses. And he decided that they should go to the street and carry everybody they see. He said, carry the blind, carry the, the deaf, carry anybody, the poor, anybody on the street. The one that does not have drug pushers, anyone, bring them. And they called, they carried them and brought. Oh, he said, the house of the Lord was filled with people for the party. And that is what he's doing. Hallelujah. Yes, people that are rich, maybe in knowledge, they are rich in finances, in resources, they have rejected him. Now he is going, he's, he's calling everybody. But he died for everybody. Hallelujah. He wants to save everybody. But unfortunately, only those who don't have, sometimes are the ones that really see the need for him. But there is a day that every knee must bow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, everything must bow. I would like us to read something. Something. Yes. From Hebrews again. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 8. Did we read that Hebrews chapter? He said, chapter 1. We did not finish it. Hallelujah. I told us, I'm trying, I'm looking at the time. I told us I want to share about Jesus. We can take the whole year talking about this, this man. The man Jesus, who is this man? Who is this man that the whole world is talking about him? Who is he? The world is talking about him, but how much of him do you know? It's so important. Hallelujah. Are we being blessed? Did you waste your time to come here today? Yes, I know that you didn't. Praise God. Please, let's go back to that chapter 1 first. Let's read that chapter 1 before you read chapter 2 verse 8. Let's go back to chapter 1. Are you there? What does this say? Hebrews chapter 1. He said, God, who at sundry times, that's in time past, and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet. He said, had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom, follow, whom he had appointed heir of all things. Hallelujah. Now, Usually, when I teach like this, okay, I will not have time to pray long for, with us. Are you following? So it's important that you grab everything I'm saying. It's usually because it's a series. It's usually after we have spoken like this, maybe for two, three weeks. Are you following? Like three or four times. Then it ends now in a miracle service. Are you following me? Or a healing service. Or power service. Because by the time you have understood the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If there was a challenge and I just say in the name of Jesus. You, you already know what to do. Praise God. Because you, you, you have understood what it is. You are not just calling the name for nothing. Mm. By the time you enter the taxi today and you just say. By the time something is happening and you, you are calling Jesus. You know that you can't call Jesus and that car has an accident. Yes, you know. You know what you are doing. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, 
He said, had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things. He had appointed, God had appointed Jesus. That's his son, right? Heir of all things. Do you know what an heir is? Huh? Like if somebody inheritor, inheritor, right? Chop chair. Are you following me? Like transferring of ownership. So Jesus has been appointed to own all things. It means everything, even the ones you are saying, my house, it belongs to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My shoe, my earring, it belongs to Jesus. My handbag, it belongs to Jesus. My dad, my mom, they belong to Jesus. My children, they belong to Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you recognize this, it means you have submitted your Lord to, to him as your Lord. Hallelujah. But those that have not recognized, he is still their Lord, but they don't call him Lord. It means they have disowned their Lord. Hallelujah. Until they accept him then, they are now in synchrony. Means he is seeing them as his subject and they are seeing him as their Lord. Hallelujah. And that is the best position to be. Just imagine you're walking in the presidency and you're not respecting the president as <laughs> praise God. You are living in Cameroon. Anybody living in Cameroon that like some of us that like talking against our president. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. We are, rebe we are rebelling. Huh? Yes, sir. The Bible says, let all powers, let all souls, Romans chapter 13 verse 1, let all souls be subject to higher authorities. <laughs> Whether it's at your job site, are you following me? Whether it's at school, whether it's in the Njangi group, so long as there's a president there, let all souls be subject to higher powers. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, for all powers are of God, and all them that be was ordained by God. When I understood this now, I started praying that the president should die. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of us have ever prayed for the death of the president of Cameroon? The more you pray, the more he's, he's standing strong. Why? All powers are of God. Hallelujah. If God doesn't want him to be there, he will not, he will not be there. What you can pray is for the will of God to prevail in Cameroon. And if the will of God is that he shouldn't be, then God will know what to do. Are you following me? Yes. yes. Don't, don't find yourself to be a rebel anywhere. A good Christian is a good subject. A good Christian is a good citizen. A good Christian is a, respective, a respectful, humble person and is not a breaker of law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they don't struggle to keep law. Yes, you don't need to know the laws of Cameroon to be able to maintain it. As a Christian, you are, you are, <laughs> you are a perfect maintainer of law. Praise God. Hallelujah. If it is by merit, they should just see you. Are you a Christian? They check your character and confirm from maybe your leaders and then they just give you the position. <laughs> yes, but many Christians have abused Christianity. Some have the name Christian and then, you know, they, they don't behave. Nothing looks like Jesus in their life. From head to toe, nothing looks like Jesus. Glory to God. <laughs> So he said, had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, son whom he had appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. This is so much. Ah, sorry for these children. No wonder they are sleeping. They can't understand this. <laughs> Hallelujah. But you that you can understand, take it. Their spirit is capturing it. Hallelujah. Yes. Allow them like that. Their spirit is capturing it. By the time they grow up, there is something inside them. Their spirit has gotten who the name of Jesus is. He says, had in these last days spoken unto us by some whom he appointed heir of all things. Heir of all things. Some people are proud about their bank account. Whether it's one billion or trillion that is inside, it belongs to Jesus. You may not give it to him. Is Then you... It's okay. You may say that it belongs to you, not to Jesus. It's okay. You can still see, steal somebody's thing and say it belongs to you, not to you. Are you following me? I'm not just teaching you about, I'm teaching you about the whole picture of the universe and the earth, the way it is. <laughs> because if I don't, if you don't know it now, one day you'll be surprised because you'll find yourself knowing it. You just, hey, so is this who Jesus was? I thought he was just somebody who comes to my small life. No, he's not somebody who comes to your small life. 
The man of God made a statement. He said him and his wife. <laughs> he said a country is too small for them. That the wife must live in another country. Let him live in another country. Because two of them in one country is small for them. It's because he has captured the revelation of who Jesus is. Hallelujah. And he's winning. The, he's win <laughs> Praise God. Yes. And that is why the way I think. When I have, a, like, for example, a, a believer that is passionate for the gospel, another minister of God. Hmm? That is why you came here. Hallelujah. Yes, that is why the other brethren went to the other places. We can't stay in one place. It's too small. Because I know Jesus, the owner of the whole world. Why should we come and stay here? Somebody should go somewhere and be winning that place. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. When, see, when you walk with Jesus, your mindset and your vision about life changes. You start seeing things differently. You start seeing things beyond the, the boundary of your family and your, 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 your three children, you know? Some people have already made a vision for three children. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Once I'm married, I have three children, good job. I'm, I'm done. You know? The, your, the, you, you start thinking differently because you know everything you have belongs to him. And if everything I have belongs to him, what does he really have? He, have? he has all things. How much of those things can I manage? Because you're a manager. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may not have anything while you're listening to this message. It does not make any difference. <laughs> if you can develop a vision with him, he's going to expand it. Hallelujah. Like some of you that he has given ideas, companies. It <laughs> some of us have companies in us. It's only Jesus that can expand that vision in you. You can now see the way it's really supposed to be. He has given you, you may not have the resources, you may not even have the people, but that thing is in you. Hallelujah. The best of you is seeing you because you have not discovered who that person who gave you the vision is yet. Glory to God. And you are discovering him. Hallelujah. Amen. You are discovering him. But this is just an introduction today. So you have to go, and you need to, you know, in prayer, in meditation, in fellowship, in everything you do. That is why he gave us the meditation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So that while you are there, maybe... You're, you're carrying out your activity, managerial activities, maybe farm work or whatever it is. You're washing plates, washing dishes, taking care of children, whatever you're doing. You're meditating on that name. As you're meditating, his revelation is being deposited in your spirit and your vision is expanding. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's one thing I'm very sure about. Nobody ever takes this path with Jesus and becomes a failure. I've never seen it. They may, it may be for some time, some people are thinking they are failure. That's why you may see a Christian, eh? And Praise the Lord. The, the trouser is torn and this. And the guy is happy. You don't know what is making him happy. <laughs> there is something about him. He is not looking at, his, at himself at, at, as of now. Hallelujah. There is a vision inside of him. He is so confident. He is so bold. I'm not talking of those that are just fanatics. Are you following me? I mean Christians. Those who reflect the life of Christ. Those who are meditating on his word. Those who are living according to his vision. Praise God. You may look at the, the, the young lady and the young lady is moving with scattered hair. He can't even play the hair because does not have money. And you're talking, look at you, look at and they, he, she does not care. <laughs> she knows there is something she's working on. Give her five years. Give her ten years. By the time, maybe by at five years she is not equal with you that you do not have any vision with you. Now you're thinking that, oh, you have come to her level. She has not come to your level. She's passing. Hallelujah. <laughs> she, she has not come to your level. She just, she's just passing. That level that she is. Because it is from glory to glory. That's what the scripture says. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, brother. That your, that your soap company is from glory to glory. Amen. Are you fooling me? Amen. Yes, it may be that small. As, as The time that I knew you, that's not how it was. Not so. Yes, it has, it has evolved. Because of what? I like the statement he made when he was giving a testimony. He said, because I love God. I love Jesus. Hallelujah. If people that don't love God, they don't have the vision of Jesus, are able to do great things, then we can actually do greater. Hallelujah. We can. It's not, it's not, we are not making mouth here. <laughs> Please. It's not just to, 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 I'm not, I'm not motivating you. You don't need another motivation. Jesus is your motivation. Praise, Praise God. Because he must express himself through you. He has come to be with you. He has come to live in you. And so he must express himself through you. 
Whatever talent he has given you, whatever thing he has given you, he wants to use that thing to express himself through you. And so he must be the best at it. Hallelujah. He must be the best. Make up your mind to be the best. When we talk of the best, it's not being, it's not, you know, it's not being the best of uh, uh, comparing with somebody else. It's being the best of you as at that time. If you are supposed to score nine, you should score the nine. Hallelujah. That's what we are talking about. There's no lagging behind. Glory to God. You're leaving this place with fire in your spirit. Amen. To grow in your spirit. To grow in whatever you're doing. Whether it's your career and whatever thing you're doing. Know that Jesus is working with you. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether it's your school, Jesus is with you. Praise the Lord. And he does not have any small vision. His vision is big. And so you must make it big. Hallelujah. Make up. When we say make it big, make it bigger than before. Are you following me? Not comparing to others. But make it bigger. Then when you get to the next level, he says it's from glory to glory. You say, I'll make it bigger. Before you know it, you have gone so far. Hallelujah. When we started this fellowship, we started it outside. Praise God. With about 11 people. But now, it is spreading. Glory to God. It's spreading. We are, <laughs> it's going in different places. And people are getting the message. Lives are being transformed. Lives are being touched. Hallelujah. And you are here. I believe God you are, that you are part of it. You are part of the transformation. Amen. You are part of it. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is bringing the best out of you. Amen. Do you love Jesus? Amen. Do you have more reasons to love him? Yes. yes. Nothing should shake your faith away. Praise God. Amen. If you have made that commitment with Jesus, nothing should shake you away. I have not spoken much about him, but I want to end here because of time. Nothing should shake you. Stand firm. Tribulation should not take you out from him. Hallelujah. He is bigger than that tribulation. It's just a matter of time. You will emerge as a victor. Yes. You emerge as an overcomer. It's a matter of time. You may be there soaking Gary with, with sugar. Don't worry. With Jesus, you will grow bigger than that level. Hallelujah. Yes. Keep on praying. Keep on meditating. Keep on working hard. Keep on putting your best at what you do because Jesus has given you the best. Hallelujah. When you look at your life, don't say my wretched life. Say Jesus has given me the best life. Hallelujah. Tell yourself, say Jesus has given me the best life. Jesus has given me the best life. Say it with more meaning. Jesus has given me the best life. Hallelujah. Yes. You may not be passing first in class, but you'll see the best. Are you following me? You may not be the top. In your, at your job site, but you're still the best. Even if you're a cleaner in your company, you're still the best. Glory to God. There is more in you. You're a winner. Hallelujah. Because of Jesus in you. He won. Do you know he won? Yes, he won. He came to the world that he alone was the only righteous person. Yet he conquered the world with righteousness. And now there are many people that can be called sons of righteousness because Jesus won. Hallelujah. And we are part of that, that crowd. Hallelujah. We are part of that crowd. Many are being transformed today because Jesus won. He won the victory. We know that song, right? Hallelujah. He have won the victory. Hallelujah. He have won That could not hold you down. Oh God, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are if you know it, just sing it. Thank you. Seated in majesty, you are the risen King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you have won it all for me, you have won it all Thank you, hallelujah, praise the Lord, he has won the victory for us, hallelujah, Jesus is a winner, and if he's a winner, 
and you are a partner with him, it means you are a winner. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say, I'm a, I'm a winner. You know, there are many songs that we can start singing just from those, those words now. You know, those songs that you, we used to sing, they are not just empty songs. The next time you're singing it, sometimes they call you and give you bad news. Don't worry, start singing. Hallelujah. You have won victory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Are we happy? Yes. Have you learned something? Yes, I want to hear from two people what you have learned so far this evening. I wish we had more time or share most, much about Jesus. Much about him. Much about him. I would like you to always, if you can, if you can, if you can, connect to the WhatsApp group or to the Facebook page. You, you always get those messages. Now we are making the, the audio uh, part so that uh, you can also listen to it. Hallelujah. And your life will never be the same again. There is, see, there is one thing. There's a way that I could just come here and preach a message and pray for you. All right? That, that will solve a problem for now. But it will not solve a long-term problem. Are you following me? I like Christians to grow. You grow from glory to glory. You are being guided, counseled. You can make mistakes along the path. But the mistake you make, you rise up and keep on moving forward. Are you following me? Not the one you make a mistake and you don't know what to do. You are like, you're lost. Not that one. But because when you don't listen to the word of God so often, when you, when you find yourself in error or you find yourself in confusion, you, you don't know what to do. Is that you're stuck. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. But with the word of God, it's like you, as you're falling, there's a light that's coming to you. The word of God. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Mm-hmm. David say, said, I have not remained in sin because I have hid your word in my heart. Praise God. Yes, when you hit, when you hide the word of God in your heart like this. So when you go home, the message, you meditate on it. Think over it. The scriptures that we have read, you think over it. Hallelujah. Yes. Can we end here? Are we running? Is there somebody you're going too far and you're afraid that you, you're, you're so late? Hallelujah. We just have about 15 minutes. Let's end here now. The Spirit of God says this. Hallelujah. Can you just wave your hand towards heaven? Wave your hand. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for what you have done for me. Thank you for who you are. Say, I love you with all my heart, with all my strength.